classified material next to your Corvette? What were you thinking? My Corvette's in a lock garage. Okay, so it's not like you're sitting out in the street. U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland naming Washington, D.C. Attorney Robert Herr as the special counsel to take over the investigation into classified material found at U.S. President Joe Biden's home and in his former private office. But under the regulations, the extraordinary circumstances here require the appointment of a special counsel for this matter. Both sets of documents are now in the hands of the Justice Department. We have cooperated closely with the Justice Department throughout its review, and we will continue that cooperation with the special counsel. We are confident that a thorough review will show that these documents were inadvertently misplaced, and the president and his lawyers acted promptly upon discovering of this mistake. People know I take classified documents and classified material seriously. I also said we're cooperating fully and completely with the Justice Department's review. The circumstances have some similarities to the scandal involving former President Donald Trump, who is currently under investigation over the hundreds of classified documents uncovered at his Mar-a-Lago estate in Florida. Not once, but now we're finding in two different locations classified information just out there in the open. Democrats pointing to clear distinctions between the two cases. Cooperation is coming from the Biden administration and the president's lawyers, and there was zero cooperation from Donald Trump. While Republicans are demanding action. I think Congress has to investigate this. Here's an individual that's been in office for more than 40 years. Here's an individual that sat on 60 Minutes that was so concerned about President Trump's documents locked in behind, and now we find it just as a vice president, keeping it for years out in the open in different locations. Now the Justice Department is stepping in with the appointment of a special counsel. This appointment underscores for the public the department's commitment to both independence and accountability in particularly sensitive matters and to making decisions indisputably guided only by the facts and the law. Classified records are supposed to be stored in secure locations, and the Presidential Records Act says all White House records are to be given to the National Archives after an administration ends. This is ultimately going to come down to a question of intent. Uh, it's, it's like having two people stopped on the interstate and going through a, a road construction zone, and one says, you know, you, uh, Mr. Officer, you, you're crooked and you're involved in a cover-up and you hate me and the law doesn't apply to me, so there you go. And the other driver says, look, I just, I'm sorry, I did not notice the speed limit change and uh, I, I want to cooperate with your stop. I, I'll help you. Guess what? Driver number one is going to get a ticket. Uh, and, and so it's a question of how they handle it. As of now, there's no confirmation of how many documents were found in this second discovery or what information they contain. According to a source familiar with the matter, the initial discovery of 10 documents in Biden's private office covered topics including Ukraine, Iran, and the UK.